Chapter 3. The PDCA Cycle, Subchapter 3.2. PDCA Cycle Example. Now that you got familiar with the concept of the PDCA cycle, in this chapter we will make a simple example of using the PDCA cycle in relation to health and safety management. In this chapter, we will pick this process, the training of the company's workers regarding the contents of the organization's health and safety procedures. It's a relatively simple process, and at the same time, it's a very important part of the OHS system. Let's see how this process could be done through the PDCA cycle. First step, plan. The planning step overall consists in figuring out which workers have already been trained and which need training, finding the best way to teach them, what to teach them, etc. Let's get into even more details. In our example, three workers are taken into consideration, worker A, worker B, worker C. Worker A doesn't need any training. Worker B and C need training. To be specific, worker B needs basic OHS training and worker C needs specific training on the use of heavy machinery. So in this step, we will have to make an appointment for worker B and an appointment for worker C. Worker B will attend the basic OHS training on the 5th of July, while worker C will attend the heavy machinery course on the 1st of September. To be specific, worker B needs basic OHS training and worker C needs specific training on the use of heavy machinery. So in this step, we will have to make an appointment for Worker B and an appointment for Worker C. Worker B will attend the basic OHS training on the 5th of July, while Worker C will attend the heavy machinery course on the 1st of September. Also, in this step, we will plan who will teach these courses and what educational material he will use. As you may have noticed, we still haven't done anything, technically. We just planned what to do and how to do it. Second step, do. In our example, the do step is the actual training, having your workers attend courses, in which they will learn the best practices about health and safety. To be specific, A, of course, doesn't have to attend any course. B, attends a basic OHS training. C, attends a specific machinery training, to each his own. Third step, Check. This step consists in checking if what you did was successful. After your company trained all your workers, you could ask yourself, was your training effective? You could make your workers take a test to check if they acquired all the main concepts of your lessons. That's what you can see in this slide. B will take a test regarding basic OHS principles, and C will take a test regarding the specifics of the machine that he has been trained for. Fourth step, act. In our example, let's make that B passes the test while C doesn't. As for worker B, congratulations, he's ready to work. So the act step really just consists in putting him at work. As for worker C, what should we do to fix this problem? The act step for this case could be retraining him.